Welcome back to CBS Mornings. We are sharing a big update on a story that we've been following here for years. Actually, Aaron's been following it for years. We, we appreciate that, Aaron, about a prison inmate in Missouri who shows the power of transformation and second chances. His name is Bobby Bostick. He was serving a 241-year sentence. You heard that right, 241 years for a series of robberies he committed when he was just 16. Bostick is now 43. He changed his life in prison. How? He went to school. He read and wrote books, even though he had no hope of getting out. But that all changed thanks to a very unlikely ally. 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty. As we said, she's been covering Bostick's case for a very long time. This is a very exciting update. Good morning. Good to see you all. But going. we've all been following it yes. along. Yeah. Yes, following we you, have. following it. It's true. <laughs> well, what Bostick did in prison was extraordinary. He got an education. He wrote 15 books. So we had to be there last week when Bobby Bostick was released after more than 27 years, thanks to the judge who first put him behind bars. 43-year-old Bobby Bostick was making more than a fashion statement when he walked away from a Missouri prison last week in a brand new suit. The new me. The suits represent the new me, and it's a business suit, and I'm going to go on with the new business of life. So that's what the suit represents. Bostick's first hug, Evelyn Baker. God, I'm so happy. Happy too. The now retired judge who sent Bostick to prison, but spent the last four years fighting to get him out. You were emotional when he walked out towards you. Yep. He made me cry. Uh, wasn't trying to. This day once seemed inconceivable. Bostick was incarcerated in 1995 at age 16 after he and a friend committed a series of armed robberies in St. Louis. One victim was grazed by a bullet. Did you intend to hurt him? To no, kill him? No, if I intend to hurt or kill him, I'd have kept shooting. Convinced Bostick was a lost cause, Judge Baker showed no mercy. After he was convicted on 17 counts, the judge ordered his sentences to run consecutively for a total of 241 years. We visited Bostick in prison again two weeks before his release. Were you angry with her? No. It motivated me to say one day, if I ever do get out, I will see her, and, and she'll realize the mistake she made when she see the person I became. That didn't seem very likely. Bostick wouldn't be eligible for parole until he was 112 years old. Many people would have just given up, but Bostick found drive even when he had nowhere to go. Once you make so many mistakes, you get tired and you want to do something different. So I started reading. That's how I found myself in books. And that's the most peace I ever get in the world. It's a natural high, basically. Bosick obtained an associate's degree and is working now on his bachelor's in business. He wrote poetry and prose, 15 books in all, including a biography of his mother. His stunning turnaround convinced Judge Baker she made a mistake. 241 years is, is insanity. When I think back on it, and I'll say right now, it's insanity. He was a kid. He was a little boy. But you're the one who sentenced him, Judge. Yes. As he evolved, I have evolved. I mean, is it fair to say that the case of Bobby Bostick has haunted you? That would be a very true statement. Judge Baker began advocating for Bostick. In the summer of 2021, the Missouri legislature passed the Bobby Bostick Law, which allowed him and other inmates incarcerated as juveniles to apply for parole. How unusual is that for the trial judge who sentenced an inmate to then appear at the parole hearing asking for his release? I don't know if it ever happened before, but it was something I wanted to do. Why? Because it was time for Bobby to come home and be with his family. He wasn't a kid I sentenced. And late last year, the parole board gave Bostick a date when he could finally go home. And then when I see my name on the paper this morning, it said, released, Bobby Bostick released. I'm like, it's official. So you do have a very strange, unique bond. Yes. You put him in prison and you helped him get out. The Bobby Bostick I put in prison. It's not the Bobby Bostick who got out. Bobby did what many people can't do. 
He created himself. He took the good, the bad, and the ugly, and he turned into something that's quite beautiful. You feel good about today? I'm ecstatic. This is better than Christmas, Easter, Fourth of July, Thanksgiving rolling in one. Oh my God! His family thought so too. There'll be some people who won't think you and other men who've been convicted as juveniles deserve a second chance. What do you say to them? Oh uh, well, some people um, they got a right to feel that way. Basically, right? It's up to us, the juveniles, who get out and get the second chance to do something different to prove to those people, like, I'm just like you. In case you're wondering, none of Bosick's victims objected to his release, and one even wrote a letter supporting him. Nationally, more and more inmates arrested as juveniles are getting second chances. In Missouri, none of those released in this past year have reoffended, nor have any returned to prison. I should point out, and you probably realize this, he has a lot to be thankful for, and you could probably guess where he and his family are spending Thanksgiving yeah. with the judge. Are they? Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I yeah. No, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know. Yes. 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 Who was yeah. the lady hugging him in the car? That's the his sister, his Marquis, sister. and that's who he's, he's living with right now, and she owns a cleaning company, and he's going to work there. I think I didn't it's still going to be... coming with the judge. I didn't see that. Yeah, I think it, it's going to be hard for him. He has not made any decisions for himself for yeah. the last 27 years, yeah. harder than yeah. what I think he realized. I'm glad the judge has evolved, Aaron, but I do wonder what took so long. Well, I don't I, think I, she realized how much he had changed. I was very impressed to learn how much uh, lawyers who work for the ACLU, ACLU in Missouri, mm -hmm. uh, have worked on this case. And yeah. they reached out to her. Um, That's good. And they're yeah. the ones who really yeah. lobbied Great for job. this. Great yeah, story. We appreciate you. That Great was awesome. Story. Thank you. Really well